So I ended up going to meet my wife yesterday because we were going to go see some Beethoven at the Kennedy Center, which was really great. But I ended up leaving the house very early and was on Capitol Hill with an hour to spare. So I went to my favorite game store in the region, and that is Labyrinth uh, Games and Puzzles. Sadly, it's the, like one of the furthest away from me, but it is really good. Um, so if you're in D.C., I would recommend hitting up Labyrinth. But while I was there, I decided to grab a game that I have been eyeing up for quite a while. Probably, well, gosh, I think it came out in 2020. I think I first heard about it somewhere around there. Uh, and I've been wanting to check it out for quite some time. And that is Never Going Home. Um, let's see who this is. Well, let's show off some credits here. Wet Ink Games. So this is a, from, again, what I understand, let's see, Never Going Home. The world is already at war. Now the vial has, the, the vial, the veil, I can't read. Uh, the veil has been torn. The whispers promise you power. You may live long enough to lose your humanity. Complete role-playing rules. Nine national profiles. Six magic paths. Twelve monsters. And three adventures. Okay, that's quite a bit to fit into what we have here. About 110 pages, 112 pages, something like that. Uh, visually, it's nice. It's got this kind of weathered old paper look to it, although it is glossy paper. It has some very nice art inside. And it is, from, from what I understand, it is a World War I but World War I taken into a sort of eldritch horror sort of path where things have not only gone poorly, they've gone weird. And I, you know, find World War I fascinating. It's iconography. It's, uh, it, it's real world horror. I mean, what a, an absolute nightmare uh, completely bizarre and dark chapter in humanity's history. And that goes, you know, the war itself, which, you know, physically was just terrible, but also the kind of psychological wounds that I think allowed it to happen and then were created by it that we are still dealing with today. And, uh, you know, the roots of the war, it's not like the war just happened out of the blue. The roots of the war went back. Uh, but that was really kind of a, a like a, a focal point of history, you know, where, like, there was the world before and the world after. And, and you know, it really is, when the more you read about it, the more sort of shocking and terrifying and horrible it is, the more you see its echo throughout the 20th and into the 21st century. Things that happened on the periphery, things like the Russian Revolution, uh, the Re Russian Revolutions, um, and just a lot of different things like that. They all bleed into each other, influence each other, and again, echo through time. Uh, we are still dealing with things that World War I Felt like it was supposed to maybe be the resolution of, but it definitely was not. So anyway, I find the the Great War, the War to End All Wars, to be a fascinating time in history. And I think that it meshes well, kind of like the Western, I think it meshes well with horror. Uh, for, in the case of the Trench Wars, the you know, obvious connections to horror uh, I'm, I'm actually a little bit surprised there hasn't been more. I mean, there has been a batch, but I'm kind of surprised there hasn't been more uh, horror and World War I mixing. You know, like, it seems to me so ripe for Call of Cthulhu scenarios, but there's only a handful that I know of. You know they exist. Uh, there's at least one official Chaosium one, but there's not as much as I would anticipate. So I'm very interested in checking this out. I feel like I read something, I skimmed something where it talked about this being a 
like a squad based or a group based game where like characters will come in and out as play happens. So you may play for a whole session, but during that course of that, some of the people in your group come in, come out, you know, that kind of thing. I don't know. Uh, I haven't had a chance to try it yet. They did a demo of this, I, I believe they did a demo of this at Labyrinth, but I didn't have a chance to go check it out. So anyway, never going home. Um, you know, support your local game stores. Check them out, especially if your local game store carries something other than the Indian Pathfinder, which sadly my most local one really does not. But anyhow, uh, check out your local game stores. Take a look at Never Going Home. This is on Drive Through as well. That's where I had been kind of uh, staring at it longingly for a couple of years, but they had it on the shelf, so I, I grabbed a copy. But that's it for me today. You know, stay safe out there. Be careful. Take care. Check out my links below if there's anything down there that you're interested in. You know, throw me some dollars on uh, Patreon if you are so inclined. That'd be swell. And, uh, you know, the usual. Take care.